In this video, you will continue your workflow by analyzing the convergence of your calculation and post-processing your results using cutting planes, contour plots, and parametric graphs. You now have 12 design points that have been calculated. Each design point ran until the total number of iterations or the residual convergence cutoff and arrow coefficient convergence cutoff values have been satisfied. Verify the convergence history of the simulation in the convergence window on the right of your screen. Set data set to design point 3 and the curve to residuals to view the continuity, XYZ velocity, energy, and turbulence residuals for the design point. You can left click a residual curve to show the iteration number and the corresponding residual value. The residual of omega at iteration 1000 is shown and equals to 5.4 minus 5, which is still higher than the residual convergence cutoff of 1e minus 5. The remaining residuals except for k of design point 3 have met the residuals convergence cutoff criteria. In the convergence window, set curve to report wing 01 lift. The evolution of the lift force on wing 01 will be displayed. Left click the last iteration of the lift force plot to show the value of the lift at the last iteration. A results node will be displayed in the outline view tree after the simulation starts. This allows you to quickly post-process all design point solutions by obtaining aerodynamic coefficient plots, creating contour plots of the solution field, comparing solution fields to experimental data, and more. The first element in the results node is tables. Click the table summary, table coefficients, table forces, table residuals, and table component output tabs at the bottom of the graphic window to reveal each table. Table summary summarizes the flight conditions and convergence information for each design point. Table residuals summarizes the final residuals as well as the number of iterations run for each design point. Table coefficients contains the lift, drag, and moment coefficients. Table forces contains the dimensional forces of lift, drag, and moment. Table component outputs contains the lift and drag of the wing and fuselage groups, the mass flow balance of the free stream and engine groups, and the thrust of the engine group. The plots options can be used to quickly display simple 2D plots of the selected design points and solution variables. Specify the same settings as shown here. The contour options can be used to quickly display simple contour plots of selected design points and solution variables. Left click contours from the outline view and enter the following settings under the properties contour window. Press plot to display the wall static pressure contour of wing 01 and engine 01 for design point 3. You can quickly create the same contours for all the updated design points by clicking the Save Image button and enabling the Save Updated DP option. You can also generate cutting planes by specifying Cutting Plane under the Surfaces option within the Properties Contour window. Specify the same settings as shown here. The solution of Design Point 3 will be loaded, and the Cutting Plane contour will be displayed in the Graphics window. Coefficient of lift and drag can be further analyzed by using the parametric graph feature. Go to Results, Graphs in the Outline view. Click on the Parametric Graph function button at the bottom of the Properties Graph panel. You will use this panel to organize the design points into curve and color groups of Mach number and plot coefficient of lift versus angle of attack curve for each group together. Set up the panel as shown and click Plot. The lift coefficient results have been organized into three groups based on Mach number. In all three curves, the lift coefficient increases with the angle of attack. At higher Mach numbers, a lower angle of attack is required to achieve a given lift coefficient. To exclude certain design points, you can use the Exclude DPs options and remove curves at specific Mach numbers using the Number of Filters settings. Fluent Arrow can be used to easily compute the flow around a commercial aircraft at different flight altitudes, Mach numbers, and engine regimes, and to analyze the results using contour plots, cutting planes, and parametric graphs. This concludes our Fluent Arrow demonstration video series on how to compute the flow around a common commercial aircraft at different flight altitudes, Mach numbers, and engine regimes.